What if I told you there was a place in this world? A place that makes no sense, has no morality, and that is not the state of Florida. But no, actually in the form of children's events revolving spending a day out with Thomas, which can range from pretty accurate to, um... Now, I've taken a deep dive into this subject not once, but twice now, and believe it or not, I'm still finding reasons to want to cry. But despite of that, we're back once again with a fresh dose of happiness to indulge in. Also, what you guys saw in the intro and are seeing now is what's known as the EDT 15 boiler test, which has been requested by a lot of you for me to talk about, so here's a quick history lesson. Strasbourg, right? You know, the kings of this shit. Not the gods, but the kings, basically. Before this, they had this. And before this, they had another Thomas, right? More or less a test engine. We'll call it a test engine for your guys' sake. So in making the face, they decided to use flammable material. Yeah, on the front of the boiler of a steam engine. Y'all thought Shed 17 was a fan fiction? Nah, that shit was awareness. And then after that, they moved on to this. And then from this model, they moved on to more presently this model. And you, you, you know how it works. Remember this handsome fella right here? Yeah, well, this is Kirkley's Light Railway. And um, they just couldn't stop here. No, they had to tarnish damn near everybody. I'm talking, yeah, yeah, we got Mavis again for some reason. We got Toby. I refuse to entertain the fact that that is Percy. Incorrect. He got his wheels all fucked up. His funnel's just looking... This is Peter Sam, don't fuck with me. Hey, good job on the face though, even though it took you a try or two. Who is that? What is that? Looks Australian. Just a UK boy, we in Huntersfield, take it back. Actually, Satan, you can take all these back, we don't want them. Just look what they did to my boy, just why? You look like Spongebob after a meth hit. You may have thought what they did to Toby was wrong, but you see these, see these things here on the side? Nah, those are gills, he can breathe underwater now. Close that boy, thick, dang. Oh my god, if you guys would just respect the history a little bit more, you could, you could have like a serious like RWS inspired character here, but no, you gotta put Thomas's face on it, so it looks like shit. I, I, I mean, it's better, but he looks like his name's Kevin or something. Oh, Midland Railway, how I wish I could just leave you alone, but you just won't let me. Oh, and your diesel looks like he's trying to stop Perry the Platypus and take over the tri-state area. What is going on here? How did the meeting for this guy go? Like, were they just like, I mean, we could make a Percy, but let's just paint it blue because that's the only fucking paint we have and call it Oswald. And while we're at it, let's just stick Thomas's face on there. It seems like everybody else is fucking doing it. You know how when you look at somebody, you can sometimes, like, pick up their energy? Yeah, I'm not fucking with this one. Look at the people on the platform. They're like, hey, Jim, are you sure you want to do this? And he's just like, I am a man of iron will. Oh, wait, shoot, I was wrong. Kind of looks like they're about to jump through top of hat. Hopefully for what he did here. I get it, Thomas. You're not evil. You're just broken. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Severn Valley Railway. We've given up just as much as you have at this point. There is so much I could say about this just one photograph, but I'm going to go back to what I've said so many times before. Why is it so hard to fit the faces on the engine? What does this dude get a gold star for? He wasn't early to class. He didn't bring the teacher an apple. Get the fuck out of here. Here's an engine that the Severn Valley Railway has deemed, um, Andy. Don't know why he couldn't have just painted it green and called it Henry. Or centered the face. Or have made it fit. Alright, so... If, if you Google this image, it says it's Gordon's face. But I'm not gonna do that to him. I'm not gonna do that. No, that's not Gordon. No, it's just... No, it's just not. So this is the engine that they're using to make Gordon. And it's like, this is, this is cool. Like, I like the color scheme and everything. It may not be exact, but it's still cool. It's not rude or disrespectful to the character that's already established. Unlike this is. This looks like some shitty-ass cake with some gluten-free ass icing. Yeah, Diesel was never steamy, but he smoked. And this is what it did to him. Yep, so just just cut that out if you're doing it. Just cut it out. You'll end up like this. This next railroad is called the Longolin? Langolin? I don't know. It's it's right there. It's a preservation railway, but there's something that I know that you all don't. Thomas may smile to hide the pain, but the treatment is horrible. When times got tough, they made Thomas choose between his two favorite coaches. And as if that wasn't enough, they stapled Toad's eyes open and made him carry passengers. The two are now forced to slave away carrying passengers along the short and extremely hard to pronounce line, wondering if Sir Topham Hat will ever come back for them. Ladies and gentlemen, may we weep for Thomas now, but remember that the real tragedy lies in their portrayal of Daisy. Just as a person, that looks uncomfortable to see, like that looks painful. Going back to the energy thing. Uh, no, never mind, I'm feeling his. What is going on here? Aw, Sir Topham Hat, you could have at least came back in 1080p. All right. Say what, you, say what you want about this railroad that has this ridiculously stupid fucking hard to pronounce name. They nailed Diesel. Somebody finally nailed Diesel. We can end this on a positive note. Finally. We got the right color. It looks like the face is fitting on there perfect, but I'm not going to look into it. I don't want to be disappointed. <sighs> Diesel, I looked into it, but I'm not disappointed with you. I am not disappointed with you, buddy. Thank you guys for all of your support on the last video, pointing me in the right direction on where to look next for this series. And thank you guys for taking another dive into the weird and darker side of Day Out with Thomas with me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed viewing it as much as I enjoyed having to stare at these monsters repeatedly. And hopefully I was able to cover a little bit more of what you guys asked for. 
Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been a while since we've had the chance to talk about Day Out with Thomas. I thought I had been pushed to the brink of insanity, lost in what I could only describe to be a fever dream. Fever dream. <coughs> Alright, yeah, I'll do it, fine. Is there seriously not a single event that can make Rusty look okay? Like, what is this? Strasburg won't even put a face on him. Glenbrook, you're just wrong. You're just wrong all around. How did you make a train look like it has spine problems? East Lancashire, Lancashire? I don't know how you say it. That's actually pretty good. I'm enjoying this model. See, this Thomas isn't bad. Anymore. Why would you put the screw to secure it on the nose? Shit looks like a pimple. And they did it to James, too. Of course they did. Oh, yeah, while we're on this note, here's James. You know what? The other one was better. This one may have a stress pimple, but this one stresses me out. <laughs> what? Tell me who this is besides incorrect. Apologies all. This apparently is the great Marquise. It's probably Marquess or some shit like that, but no, I'm sticking with Marquise. And he stole James's face. That was stolen from Thomas. And they couldn't even clean it when they did it. Now, it is important to keep in mind that these faces are extremely expensive to produce. They're very large and have to be made out of the same material and likely use the same mold. And that's likely why these were originally painted and why these are often the same or reused. And in real terms, that's not really the railroad's fault. They're kind of stuck doing whatever they can do with the resources that are available to them. So it's not always that they just necessarily don't care. At times, it really may be that that's just all that they have available to them. And you have to give respect to these railroads for at least trying. But what about when you just don't try at all? Can I be mad at that? Too late, I already fucking am. So this is their Donald, I call him Demon. Again, respect for trying to do the Diesel for, you know, being an obscure character. I just see Buff Toad, though. You guys remember Eric the Diesel? Or maybe Diesel's real name is Eric and this railway's trying to put us on? No, 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 wait, 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 for real, for real. Don't laugh, don't laugh, okay? Seriously. Are you ready? Here's their fucking Percy. Like, excuse me? Like, you couldn't pay me to believe that. This is Wilbert with a stomach infection. You know, it's crazy because you could literally have the old engine from the RWS books perfectly, but nah, y'all are above doing your research, right? And you probably named him some dumb shit like Bartholomew. Here's a Percy from Embassy and Bolton Abbey Steam railway because i'll definitely remember that you know what I, I don't have anything bad to say about this this is a nice percy i don't the face could be better but it could also be this percy and let's just be happy that it's not this is what the east lincolnshire railway did with their old thomas face why did the james just throw it off in a fit of rage so this is princess from the lakeside and haverthwaite railway i don't think princess is right you look more like a goomba what the Oh, motherfucker. Hey, Trevor, why? Just leave him alone. Y'all saved him from scrap just to make him live in a purgatory. Cheltenham. Or is this Henry? How about just gross? All right, I've said it once. I'm gonna say it again. UK, don't get too mad. You guys like to get emotional at these videos. I'm not coming for you guys. I'm with you. I know these events are not the easiest to pull off. But you guys also made Thomas and Friends, so please try to do a little bit better. Oh, yes, my favorite. Mavis the Mallard. Or maybe if that's not your speed, you can always go for Mavis the Class 08. Hell has options. Who would have thought? Apparently, this is a common theme. People just want to take Class 08s and put Mavis's face on it. And then takes your deepest and darkest fear and replaces it with this. Yeah, let the kids in the signal box. Boss, this kid's a natural. Let's offer him a job. Oh, really? Really? They got George too? Wait, wait, wait. This is the railway that had the James that I like. Oh, shoot. His face isn't on him anymore, but uh, he still looks good. Okay, it looks like they've shunted him or put him in a siding. And that's weird because he's your best model, but I, I guess. Oh, that's just, that's just splendid. That's splendid. Imagine having a semi-decent Percy, like a pretty good-looking Percy, and then you just, you know, maybe I'm being too hard on these railways. You know, truth be told, maybe we should just be happy at the fact that they're trying to even do a Day Out with Thomas event. Sure, sometimes they might be weird or just strange in how they look, but hey, at least they're trying, right? R right? That makes this okay. And I guess this too, at least they did try. All of this is just fine, right? Because at, at least they tried. Yeah, sure, but, but where did you fucking try? Real quick, I just wanted to apologize to you guys for one, taking so long to make this video. And two, of course, for the audio switching up halfway through it. The mic that I normally use decided to just stop working halfway through making this video. So I did have to resort to a different means, but I wanted to make sure I could still get this video out to you guys and actually finish it. I wish I had more to talk about when it comes to the subject of Day Out with Thomas. However, recently I would find myself in a bit of a rut and really unable to find a whole bunch of new information that I had 
hadn't already talked about. So while I'm not sure if I'll be making another one of these videos, if there's anything that I haven't talked about or something that you guys think I should talk about, be sure to let me know down in the comments as I don't want my content to get boring to you guys. Again, I would also like to say that I'm not trying to throw any hate or shade on these railways, and I'm especially not trying to ruin anybody's childhood. Remember, this is my childhood too. I just think it's a fair statement to say that almost everywhere could do a little bit better with their day out with Thomas events. It's never easy or cheap to repaint an entire locomotive to look like a Thomas train, and oftentimes it's not practical. So again, maybe we should be a little bit proud and happy at the fact that these railways are even trying. But it's still fuck you guys for this. You guys had one good shot! Ladies and gentlemen, you read the title right. It has been far too long since we've done a Dark Side of Day Out with Thomas video. And honestly, since we've done so many educational type things recently, I, I figure it's time we bring back some comedic value to the channel. But also because it's been so long, I figure there's some of you guys who may have no idea what I'm talking about. So really quick, let me explain what you're about to witness. One, a whole lot of arrogance, but it's intentional if that helps at all. Two, a lot of joking, so don't take anything I say seriously. It's not very practical for a railway to take a whole locomotive and repaint it to look like a Thomas character. That costs a lot of money and really isn't the easiest thing to do. And three, if you're one of those weird rail fans who gets upset when people criticize the train you like, this may not be the video for you. So with those three out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, let's dive into the dark side of the day out with Thomas and friends. And like I said, if you're one of those weirdos who gets offended by somebody called Train Boy making fun of your train preferences, um, there's the door, stupid. Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen, they finally did it. Joe Pecci, the locomotive. Is this one of those characters that's like special to the railway where it's like, oh look, we, we have Thomas, but we also have some fucker named Richard. Speaking of Thomas, here we have Thomas from the Neen Valley Railway, which is goaded with the sauce and busting it down sexual style. And then there's, you know, I'm gonna say something I've said before. I'm gonna try to keep my composure when I do. Um, WHY IS IT SO HARD TO FIT THE FACES TO THE ENGINES?! Like, during the designing process, is nobody like, well, the circle seems to fit better on, you know, circular smoke boxes. I don't know about the front of a square diesel. The best part of it is that's Audrey's Thomas. That is the locomotive that Audrey deemed as Thomas. Next to a locomotive that I don't think Audrey would have very many nice things to say about at all. It'd be along the lines of, while I appreciate the attempt, I would prefer you didn't at all if this is the fucking result. What is this jaundice looking oversaturated face? What is this one of my thumbnails? Mommy, mommy, can we can we take a ride on the Thomas? Of course, son, but it's it's gonna have to wait because we're getting mugged by a tanker. This is not a troublesome truck. This is a class A felony truck. Don't make me send you back to the other railway, Diesel. Don't make me send you to the ICU, punk. What is this standoff we just walked in on? Looks like we got a little bit of, a little bit of brisket, a little bit of beef going on here. Uh, let, let's just mind our business, because we all know the number one rule on the island of Sodor. Snitches get a reboot appearance. No, no, guys, he's railway series accurate because he has a Westinghouse pump. Look, is Shrek the fucking conductor? Why is the cab so big? You know, I, I can't describe it, but this Thomas just looks like it has neck issues. Fucking... Ah, oh, they got James, damn it. I'm still a splendid red engine, right? I don't think so, buddy. It looks like they turned you into one of Donkey Kong's cannons. Thomas was so intimidated by Ryan, he ate him. This is a buff-ass steam locomotive. Ah! Oh, it has a face to... Uh, oh, mm, mm, it shouldn't. Ah! We're going to see the real world, Donny. Donny. Here we can see Nicolas Cage really rethinking that Thomas and the Magic Railroad role. This is less a day out with Thomas. This appears to be more a day in the life of crisis. And here we can see a group of hunters standing with their most recent kill. At least Thomas is okay with it. Boy, I sure do feel strange today, Thomas. It'd be nice if you could help me with my work. I would, Fergus, but I'm still serving out my sentence in hell. We've got the choice of a Fergus who is likely wanted in several countries or giving Thomas indigestion, everybody. You're all's choice. I'm not picky. Fuck, I should have never called Thomas a genty by accident. This is, this is my fault. Well, Percy, we may be in constant pain, but at least we have each other. I can't blink. Kinda dig it, though. I'm not mad. I'm gonna have to stop for a little bit on this one. What is holding this paper, th these paper faces, to these smoke boxes? And what the 
fuck happened to homie in the middle? I'm furious. Thomas is supposed to be an E2 tankage. They had two or three people hold the faces in front of the smoke box and then just got a hose and just, and just sprayed them onto the front. That's not accurate to the railway series, man. I love how they're all also different variations of Thomas. They just couldn't be fucked to Google Percy or Gordon PNG. I am fucking furious. You know, rest in peace to anybody who rode on the back engine. You probably didn't come back. Be there, be square, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I, I don't know what it is, but this Thomas just gives me the same vibe as driving an unregistered car. Honestly, you kind of look like you're in pain. I'm gonna get to your face here in a second, but dude stepped out in some penny loafers. Like, maybe some ointment or a, or a cream would help. You better have to sign a waiver before you step foot in a train being pulled by this locomotive. And some damn good life insurance. I I'm thinking allergies, but I'm just gonna call 911 either way. I have, I have no clue what's going on in this picture. Can I look it up? Uh, oh, well, they don't know either. God damn it. After looking at this Thomas for too long, I think we should extend house arrest to vehicles as well. Oh my God, his conductor's just like, it it's fine. Don't worry about it. He does this. Keep back at least 15 feet. He does bite. You know, I have to say, random austerity locomotive, yellow fever has never looked so gross. I love this singular piece of wood just right behind the face. It's to whack him if he doesn't go fast enough. He even has buffers. That is railway series accuracy. Even if someone did take a bite out of them. They always ask me what the view's like up here, what I can see. I just want to see heaven. I am going to fucking sue. You know, Percy may look like he's off a of Perk 30 and Thomas may, eh, well, he looks pretty much the same. But let us not forget why they're here. The reason they came to this railway. Evading the police, please call them. Anyone in the crowd have an EpiPen? I think he ate a peanut. You know that feeling when you when you look at somebody and it's as if you've always known them? This is not one of those moments. <coughs> no, no, okay. It just sucks. Abydos, Egypt. Seven miles west of the Nile. Within this expansive archaeological site, lies the ruins of the Osiris Hall, where thousands would gather to worship the god of the underworld. In comparison to many of the gods, Osiris was actually thought to have lived physically on Earth as one of Egypt's pharaohs. This should be illegal. What even are you? You know, when you're painting one of these faces, what makes you stop and go, you know what, I, I think I'll make him look like he did something wrong, like he pissed on the rug or something. Who would have guessed our first contact with extraterrestrial life would be this shit? No smiles as Thomas goes off the rip. Are you sure about that one? I don't think that one checks out. Is that the fucking mad kid put on a Peckett locomotive? Ah, nope, that's Voldemort, my fault. That single string holding this face on? Put more effort into this entire event than anyone else did, I promise you. I'm not one to judge, I just think it's a little messed up to perform open tractor surgery in front of people. Did he even sign a consent form? Oh, this is the raft they should have blown up in Regatta. Oh, so that's what those gas station growing pills do. I'm just saying if I was at this event, I'd probably be laughing my ass off personally. What even ha- uh, Nope, nope, sorry, I'm not reading all that. I'm happy for you though, or sorry that happened. There's a wide range of emotions and faces to choose from when putting one on a train. What made you choose Botox? If it did come from this planet, how much will it cost to get it off of it? Botox isn't even a real emotion, and you still chose that over like a smile. Or it's just a Kardashian sponsorship, I, I really can't tell. You know, looking at this from another angle, I can almost certainly say, I would be laughing my ass off at this event right now. No smiles my a I think that family's pretty satisfied myself. You know, right about now, I'm really regretting that journey beyond Sodor. Why do they keep making faces that look like they did something wrong? What did you do? The Navy probably has at least one spare torpedo, come on. I imagine this is the face an engine would make before a boiler explosion. And the worried guy in the back just solidifies that. All right, I know Toby's a square. I know it says in the song, he's square, whatever, whatever. This is just rude. You know, forget the torpedo. We could turn this into a broken arrow incident. I'm just saying. Betty White just passed away and you all are already making OCs out of her. Disrespectful. You see this guy? You see this wonderful, just polite little lad? One fucking weed. One weed did this to him. Even his friends don't recognize him anymore. This truck is somewhere between manly and 25 years to life. All right, I'm sorry, but this Mario Odyssey DLC just, just doesn't work in my opinion. 
but it'd make a beautiful villain, not gonna lie. So like, as a kid, you never had one of those toys where you would like, put the shape into the corresponding hole? You really missed the smoke box by that much? I just, I just don't think a Thomas face can get much more creepy than this. A excuse me? How are you not gonna be anxious riding in a locomotive that already looks anxious? In the 1950s, the government issued out LSD to different locomotives to see what would happen. Well, as you can see, nothing fucking good. You know, Bruce may be smiling right now, but I, I don't think he planned to end up like this. I think he had dreams. This entire railway looks like it runs on psilocybin. Dreams of being one of the best and running his railway well, serving them with pride. And now some snot-nosed little shit's gonna wipe a booger on his brake. Bill, is that you? Can you even hear me through all these pixels? How can a locomotive look like William Afton? Alright, before I show this next image, I, I have to warn. I have no clue what is going on in it, or what it is. But if I had to take a lucky guess, Cthulhu, God of the Underworld. What in God's fucking green earth am I looking at right now? This is either a serious ode to Shed 17, or like I said, Cthulhu, the God of the Underworld. Do you think the coach the Star Trust owned made this face every time they broke a model inside of it? I, I can't tell if this is like a moonshine still, or like, what it is. But I can tell you it's in pain. I love how it's numbered one, two, three. That's probably as high as you can count before he eats you. Let's not focus on all bad. Like, look at this Genty. They actually straight up nailed the Genty from the Railway series. That's pretty cool. You know what's not as cool though? Force feeding those same engines drugs. That's just, th there should be a law against this. Oh, look, Diesel gave Thomas some of those enlargement pills. That's what they do. You know, you'd think when making a face, they would go for the slightly less racist option. But these fuckers have also made trains with Botox, so I'm I'm really not surprised by anything. This was not an accident. Let's just let's just go ahead and get that clear. This was not an accident. Look at that face and tell me he did not mean to do this. You can't. I'd like to imagine this is Diesel coming back to the railway after he got sent away. Like, look at me now, fuckers. I'm not gonna act like I can really tell what's going on in this image or see it very clearly, but it looks like they put a lot of effort into everything in this and then just forgot about the face. Imagine this really is an illegal distillery and you're the cop who has to shut it down. What do you do? Aside from just be like, it's not my problem. Like they basically nailed everything else but then got to the face and was just like, eh, I'm tired, forget it. Then you have to worry about if police do shut it down, is it going to cast a curse upon the entire world? It's very likely. Bro, I'm fiending, bro. Can I hit your jewel, bro? Please, bro. Just, just one hit, bro. Please. One hit off the jewel, bro. That's all I need. Just one hit off the jewel, bro. Please. Just just one hit. I'll even give you five dollars. One hit off the jewel, bro. Please. I, I can't lie. Some of these are actually pretty cool. Like, these two locomotives here are pretty well made. And if I saw them at an event, I'd probably just be curious and think they were, you know, railway-specific OCs. And then I see someone like Bruce and think, eh, maybe we should develop a humane society for locomotives. Imagine you're just trying to go to your car from the grocery store and this fucker stops you and offers to help. Like, no, no, you cannot. This is just, this is just not an engine I trust with anything, honestly, let alone getting me to my destination safely. This is a face that says, I should have just stayed in the workshop if I have ever fucking seen one. For what I assume is like a Halloween decoration, this thing is pretty well made, but in the context of being a Thomas character? You might need some ointment, my G. Please, bro, just one hit off the jewel, bro. One hit off the jewel, bro. Please, bro, please, bro. Just one hit off the jewel. That's all I'm asking for. One hit off the pin of the jewel, bro. Please, bro, please, bro. Dude really survived his whole railway getting closed down, only to be turned into a fucking brake fan. That's pr that better than nothing, I guess. What is up? What is he seeing? What is that fear in his eyes? What did this man in the green do? Oh, doggy. This booster shot's hitting. I may be a playground, but I can't play about the pain and raw emotions I feel inside of myself. I just don't fucking get it! What happened here? I need to know the story of this! Alright, forget the princess. It's about the express now. Uh, at least apparently. I hope every locomotive we featured today is doing well, besides you. This looks more like the Mario than the Mario from the Mario show. What the fuck did I just say? You know, we've seen Thomas in just about every other style, why not Jim Bro too? How much are you willing to bet he's in cahoots with the tanker from last episode? And they're like a gang. Nope, nope, not that thing. Nope, not that one. Not again, not again. Nope. The tank engine is pulling into town. Hello, everybody. Let's go for a ride. Hey, Thomas! Join the fun at Day Out with Thomas. Dream big. <coughs> great. James, I would just love to know, what is so great about being decapitated and put on a pannier tank engine? Why are you smiling? It's not even red. Oh, look at this wiener. 
next to the Oscar Mayer truck. I don't know if he's hungry or if he's threatened. It's hilarious to think about the kids who are like, Mommy, Mommy, I want a picture with Thomas. And when they turn around to look at him, he's just like, I'm going to eat you. Does the face of this truck not scream, I don't have any brakes. And these people don't have any seat belts. Who wants to see the underworld? Thomas, can you please back up? Just, just maybe, just maybe a little bit, please. All right, what is this Coolie 93 looking ass scruffy doing here? I can't even see your face, but do not ever look at me like that again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a deputation. And if I had to guess what they were talking about, it's probably, did we get bought by fucking Germany or something? And why do we all have Thomas's face except him? Wait, nope, that's still Thomas's face. It's just surprised. That's a self-aware engine. Or maybe he realizes these two are tripping dick. This should be the new Smash DLC. I want to see this fight. The Duke and Duchess wanted something exotic for their grandchildren. Is putting coal in his firebox a mercy killing or an act of arson? I can't decide. Oh, top him. Is it electric? This time, dear, yes. The only reason Toby's smiling right now is because he's trying not to freak out. This is engine cruelty, all right? They left him in that shed with the doors closed for about four hours. Look at the fumes he inhaled. Wait a sec. This is the leader of the truck. Get we found him. We found him. I'm calling the police. You know, this picture seems fine and dandy. That's a pretty nice looking Percy, right? And look at the crowd of people that are so excited to see him. But you know what Percy's seeing right now? Probably a psychiatrist. You know, when I think of the word demon, this is not too far off from what you know pops up in my brain. Who even are you? No! There's two? No offense, bro, but if you're going up against him, you're getting eaten the fuck alive. Oh, oh, oh God, oh God, Rosie's lost it. And I can't blame her one bit. <laughs> Is that Chanel? I don't want to hang out with you anymore, Thomas. Is that Butters from South Park? What have they done to you? And what's up with your- Oh, oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 uh-uh, uh-uh. They should just add this to the D.A.R.E. program. This is what happens when you take opiates, kids. This Thomas looks like- Is this a Tinder? No, no, that's a, a diesel. No, it's a Tinder. This has to be a Tinder. And at least a two-time felony committer. Might be next up for America's most wanted contender. Oh, bars. But I'm not a rapper. Oh. Look, I'm in the camp that if you're gonna graffiti a train, at least make something cool, not cruel. Or just don't fucking do it at all. Right here, mate. Got a good catch here, mate. Gonna feed the whole family for months. Still a better fate than this guy. He uh, He's never gonna be the same. Wait a sec. Is that Leonard from Barry the Engine and Friends? What if they- No! Now, does that say Edward? Are, are you sure about that? You may have thrown a wooden railway face on him, but I don't think the rest is there. Oh, he was royalty! You can't do that! No! Why him? Why him? All right, Mr. Trolley, just because you have your hat to the side and freckles that look like infected mole bumps doesn't make you better than- Wipe that fucking grin off your face. Imagine the one kid who plays Minecraft a day out with Thomas and he's like, Ah! Harold Brighton's No! Oh. That's what happened to Billy. Finally, an answer. No, 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 no. How did this come out of the workshop? How did nobody stop to think, eh, maybe this one isn't okay? There's still blank space around the fa- It's not even finished yet. But what did you guys think I meant? Th this is not a- th This is an SCP. This is not a locomotive. Oh, look, it's the daycare attendant from Security Breach. That's funny. You know, what's not as funny is, you know, taking the, the circular face and putting it on a not circular goddamn surface. Ooh. All right, we're good. We're good. Ladies, the government got him. The government got- He's fine. He probably just didn't pay taxes. I don't get the design of this face. It's somewhere between a brat stall and a fucking vampire. This dude is trying really, really hard to not just uncouple his consist and send it down a hill. Oh, look, the blister. It's railway series accurate. All right, two things, Thomas. Number one, Percy is the caterpillar. All right, two, why you look like that? You look like a hot dog. Oh, wait, I guess he won. Thomas, I told you to ditch Mr. Bubba. Th this is what happens when you hang out with clowns. You start acting like them. Wait a sec. These are the same tri- Oh! 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 I can't tell which one of these two is fucking worse. Can you even call this a day out with Thomas anymore? When you have Garfield the Diesel Shunter as your main attraction? Right alongside- Who are the- What is this, Disney's cast of cancelled characters? Maybe it's some sort of flesh-eating amoeba. Or maybe it's Maybelline, we, we can't tell. What are you- What is this Thomas made of? Uh, sin. Sin. That's what it is. If this guy is Edward, then I'm assuming this wooden, tram, almost box-like guy next to him is Henry. Like the haircut and mustache. It's, it's just so 40s. Get with the times.
I think I quit. There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. Okay, there is so much wrong with this image. Number one, I'm not paying for that copyright. Number two, why is dude in so much pain? I have a nose piercing too, get over it. What I don't have though is a brake pipe in my throat, so maybe you're winning. Imagine living in the universe where we didn't get Boko, but instead we got his cousin Bozo. Beware of tra- Oh, thanks man, you do the same. It might be too late for me though, I don't like the look in this dude's eye. As if the engines weren't enough to worry about, they have bees the size of the engine's face that are on meth. Wait, was I talking about James or the bee? I think I think both applies. You know how people get those things in their throat after they smoke? Do you think that's what that is? So, little known fact, uh, when these events are done with the faces they're using, they will either keep them in storage or will dispose of them in funny ways. Like, he's almost definitely about to be sat on fire and sacrificed to Cthulhu, and it's just what you gotta do. Ooh, no, 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 I, do, I don't trust the look on this Thomas's face either. This guy was built and immediately served a restraining order against all children. <sighs> Please. <sighs> You're gonna make me haul around these stinking ass children. Give me a fucking Marlboro. This is either what remains of Diesel or the most unwelcoming doormat I have ever seen. See, th no, th this could be Donald. Kinda looks like a dog. But it could be Donald. Well, never mind. I guess now it's a home defense method. So, some of you guys may have already seen this, but this is a new teaser from the Oigawa Railway. Soon they'll be revealing a Toby to go along with their other Day Out with Thomas uh, locomotives. Well, believe it or not, I managed to get in contact with some of the people who currently work at the railway, and they were kind enough to show me some behind the scenes pictures of what Toby is going to look like. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it, probably something like this, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest with you, at least he's electric now. Shout out Connor, he called it first. See, Duck is fine. I'm worried about Thomas in the background there. I just don't think he's appreciative of the attention Duck is getting. Hi sisters, so today we're gonna be trying out this new makeup- No, no, I, I can't even do it. How the hell did I get in Alabama's back rooms? And what is Thomas doing here? Answer that question first. You all think that cage is gonna hold him? Guantanamo Bay couldn't hold this guy. You look like salad fingers, just a little more traumatic. Thomas smiled wide. He was worried at first, but managed to sneak over 14 kilos of black tar heroin over the border, despite being stopped at least 13 times. He sat in the yard flipping packs until he could pay for a new CGI face. And that's the story of the Strasbourg Thomas. And go ahead, think I'm lying, look at Rusty, he's still addicted. For a second, I thought this was in a cemetery and I was gonna lose my shit. Can you imagine being picked up by this at a funeral? You're over here trying to put grandpa to rest and you hear a beep beep. I'm paid by the hour, asshole, let's go. Uh, no, no, okay, this Thomas went to the one dentist from Fairly Odd Period. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Dr. Benderhead ass. Let's take some bets on why they stopped him. One, he was speeding. Two, they just didn't trust what was going on here. Pretty reasonable. Three, that's not a real tag. If you chose number three, that's probably it. All right, Tom, relax. Looking a little egotistical right now. He's like, man, I am the number one engine. <laughs> what does that say up there? Rail mo- Yeah. Duh. Oh yeah, so day out with duck sold out, huh? That's what it's called. It's called Day Out with Duck, the Great Western Engine, and that's what sold out, right? Not, not Day Out with Thomas the Tin. No, no, it's not. It's not my fucking day. It's all about you, buddy. It's all about Duck. All right, no, this looks like Amy Rose and James made a. I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Nope, nope. Shut up, DeviantArt. I always wanted to destroy the rails, and then they just decide to put me on them. This isn't what I deserve. This is a handsome locomotive, but that chin strap makes you look like you're about to fight someone in a bar. 
the flying fuck boy, everybody. See, I know if I was a kid at one of these events, I'd be like, I wonder if it hurts to have that thing stuck in his face. And you see, whoever painted the face gave him the expression of, yes, yes, it does. Now, can you steal me one of your mom's cigarettes, kid? Now, sir, the speed limit is typically 60 miles per hour in this area. But that is for cars, so you kind of got us in a tight situation. I don't know what amusement park this comes from, but... There's almost certainly a couple fatalities there. Frankly, sir, we're not sure who to arrest here. Might as well just change the name to Day Out with Duck now. Just make it all about him because I'm, I'm just not even here. I just don't exist. I'm just not even a part of this, I guess. Oh, Thomas, hello. Oh, Duck, hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? You enjoying the event so far? You look great. I can't be the only one looking at this waiting for it to transform into an Optimus Prime-like organism that will destroy the world inevitably. Hey, what are you looking at? Actually, I don't even think you can tell, never mind. So this guy I actually ran into in real life, as you guys can see here, and it just so happens that ever since then, it's been hard to sleep at night. This could be the Oigawa Railway Toby, and I'd be satisfied. I'd be just fine with it. You know what? I don't need the cigarette. A prayer would suffice. So you could still paint it blue and put the one on it, but you cut it at the eyebrows. That's where the copyright became too much, right? Oh, it even says Tom- oh, okay, okay. The only thing this Thomas is capable of picking up is a felony. Alright, so which one of you is taking the fall for the crack pipe? Huh? Which one of you? It's gotta be one of you two. This concludes our broadcast day. Thanks for watching Adult Swim. Good morning. Welcome to your favorite place for your favorite shows. Cartoon Network.